today I'm going to show you how to create a nice looking text in Photoshop and this is what we're gonna be created um, so let's get started so let's go to file create a new documents and type ice text with a width of 1280 and the height of 720 pixels resolutions of 300 and maintain the color mode to RGB the background uh, we'll change it later and hit OK go to gradient tools uh, if you can find the gradient tools just uh, right click the paint bucket tools and then you will find the gradient tools there and pick it up and choose the first one and change the color according to what you please but me I choose the blue something like this and the grayest things something like that. hit OK while gradient tool selected and the uh, background selected hold down shift and drag it down till the bottom end and we'll get some nice background something like this one now go to text uh, uh, choose the Franklin Gothic text or something like uh, this one and type ice and control T to scale it up I think that's fine hit enter control A to select it all and center it up by moving it from vertical and horizontal control D to deselect now go to filter and liquify um, we need to rasterize the objects and this time select the forward warp tool and the brush settings according to what you please and let's go out from those sharp edges um, we need to create something like an ice icy shapes when it's melted so let's try to get out from that sharpy edges I'm not uh, going to give much more details here I leave it to you so it's up to you according to what you design according to what you please you can do it just for the sake of this tutorial I'm just trying to make it fast as much as I can Oops, and I think it's fine. If you're happy, hit OK. So we have a shape like this. While eyes is still selected, uh, let, let's lock the transparent. Uh, just click this little icon here so we get the lock button here. Go to Filter, Render, Clouds, and go to edit we need to put some stroke edit st put something like uh, six pixels of inside background and we have a nice stroke here so go to filter and let's blur it out go to Gaussian blur and set it for about seven pixels or something this one so hit OK so we have this one so let's duplicate this uh, layer by control J or and let's rename this one is plastic and the second one with chrome because we're going to apply a plastic wrap and chrome in the filter so go to filter with the plastic selected artistic and plastic wrap so i think it's fine with this uh details so it's up to you let's click ok and then go to chrome and uh, filter sketch and chrome effects this details is according to what you want to have and me I just uh, hit ok for these things then duplicate oh no no just uh, change the color mode to overlay both of them and duplicate the plastic things um, and change it to soft light soft light yeah and lower the opacity for about uh, 20 percent 
now create a new layer for shining effects so let's call it sparkling and choose a brass and uh, choose a nice uh, star looking text if you don't have one you can search for Google for it and uh, you can download it and you can use it choose the white color and uh, and try to paint it to where you think it will where you think the, the lights will pass through this text so we just put it like this like that put it somewhere it's up to you it's up to your designs but for me I'm just giving you an idea of how to do it I oh. anyway, just uh, just for you to know. And when you're happy, you can uh, you're happy to the what you have. You can click. One minute, one more time. Here, just trying to close in right here. And click um, okay now con select it all and uh, bring it to one group and name it ice text duplicate the ice text and name it as reflections now I'll put it down under the text and go to edit transform flip vertical Get the move tools, hold on shift and drag it down, zoom it out if you need it. Um, try to touch the bottom one to each other's a little bit and I think that's fine. Okay. Now grab again the gradient tool. Oh no, I put mass on these uh, reflections and go to gradient tool. And select the first one hit OK and hold shift and drag it up until this yeah if you want to change the, the color background the thing is uh, you need to go to image adjustments and uh, saturate the background color according to what color you please and uh, it depends to you depends to your project as you see uh, it's, it's changing also the color of the 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 ice text here is combining with a night nice shade from the background itself so all these things I leave it to you try to find nice color to suit your needs to suit your taste and you're done uh, for me I want to choose something like a bluish color and I want to put it in my background desktop background no more and uh, I think this one is fine so if you're happy just click OK and uh, let's save it up so go to save uh, change the change it to JPEG save it to my desktop save um, maximum hit OK and voila here we are Here's a text. Let's open it and set it as our desktop background. Here, our nice looking text in our background. So, once again, uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.